I'm Dr. Jess Wade, an Imperial College Research Fellow working with Professor Sandrine Hoyts on molecular materials for optoelectronic devices. The materials that we work with are organic semiconductors, and these are a kind of next generation semiconductor material based on carbon. The really exciting thing about these materials is that we can change their chemical structure and then change their optical and electronic properties. So we could change the color of light that they absorb or emit, or the way that they might transport charges. We can dissolve these materials into cheap solutions and then print them onto large area flexible panels to make things like bendy mobile phone displays, fold up televisions, or even solar panels that we can roll out across deserts or something like that. The exciting thing about the molecules and the materials that I work with is that they're chiral. Chirality is a property of symmetry and shape that manifests across multiple different length scales in the human-made and naturally occurring world. A perfect example of chiral objects are your hands. They're non-superimposable mirror images of each other. If you put them together palm to palm, then you can see that they're kind of rough mirror images like that. But if you put one on top of the other, they're not at all. And that's what that kind of funny word non-superimposable means. Chirality manifests across all of these different length scales. From the subatomic, things like electrons and photons can be spin up or spin down. To the molecular, we can have left and right-handed molecules to macroscopic objects like shells or fusilli pasta. For a long time, it was thought that chirality was only important in biological interactions, and that's because lots of them have a lock and key mechanism. So if we're designing a new drug or coming up with a new fragrance, we have to think really carefully about the chirality of that molecule and how it might interact with receptors in our body. But what we're finding out now is that chirality is a really exciting way to control the polarization of light for more efficient displays. We can control the polarization of charge carriers for more efficient computational and memory systems. And we can even use chiral objects to detect magnetic fields for new kinds of bioimaging and even testing materials for their kind of safety properties and characteristics. So chirality adds a new twist on these really, really exciting molecular electronic materials. My name is Don Cook Kim, and I'm a PhD student that's working in Professor Sandrine Hoetz's group. So I look at controlling the orientation of organic semiconductors by developing thin films using organic molecular beam deposition. And after creating our thin films, we look at looking into the structure and functional properties using techniques such as X-ray diffraction and atomic force microscopy. I have identified copper iodide um, as an inorganic templating layer for controlling the molecular orientation of organic semiconductors. The challenge now is to translate this to device fabrication in both my lab and also to industrial manufacturers.